bosses at ITV Zima Celebrity. Get me out of here! are said to be facing a crisis as viewers are said to be boycotting the show over Nigel Farage's appearance. The latest series of the show started on Sunday evening, with 7 million viewers tuning in, a fall of 2 million from last year's opener. The exact reason for the slump was not clear but according to reports, it's down to ex-politician Farage being included in the lineup. The 57-year-old UKIP founder and Leave campaigner is one of the most controversial celebrities in the jungle this year. Farage, who was also leader of the Brexit party, previously turned down the opportunity to star on the show. But he reportedly agreed to appear on this year's series after receiving a £1. 5 meters offer. If rumors of his huge pay packet are true, it would make him the highest paid contest after No Ledman's Mirror Online reports. An insider told The Sun, Nigel has been at the top of the wish list for him as celeb bosses for years. They've offered him a huge fee as they know he'll drive up viewing figures. Anton Deck will love this signing. Nigel's the ultimate Marmite character after his time on the Brexit frontline and won't hold back in camp discussions. Ant and Deck already appear to have already taken a swipe at divisive Farage. In a hilarious moment on Sunday evening's show, the duo suggested nobody would miss him while he was away from his hosting gig on GB News. Deck said, We'd like to take the opportunity to apologize to all of GB News viewers. Ant then jumped in to say, Sorry Keith, sorry Linda. Fellow celebrities have already challenged Farage, with this morning's Josie Gibson being the first to establish her opposition to his right-wing politics. It's not going to be easy, but why not? Farage said to the TV presenter when they first met in the outback. Josie was quick to address the Kent natives' 2016 campaign to leave the EU, responding, can't be worse than Brexit. Farage appeared to roll with it, responding, oh, didn't take long did it? Didn't take long. I had a feeling we'd get a bit of that before the 38-year-old assured him she was only joking. When asked how he would fare on him as a lab, Farage insisted his political background has equipped him for the challenges ahead. He said, I've dealt with snakes in the European Parliament, I can cope with this too. There has been widespread backlash over Farage entering the jungle due to his track record in politics and media. The broadcaster has been accused of racism on several occasions in the past claiming in 2014 he felt uncomfortable when he heard people speaking other languages on public transport in London. He also holds a staunch anti-immigration stance and has supported the likes of Vladimir Putin, whom he said he idolized as an operator but not as a human being. Farage has also backed former US President Donald Trump describing him as the most brilliant and brave person he had met at a 2020 election rally in Arizona. On gender equality, Farage previously claimed women who had children are worth far less in the workplace than their male equivalents. In 2014, he said, if a woman with a client base has a child and takes two or three years off work, she is worth far less to the employer when she comes back than when she goes away because her client base cannot be stuck rigidly to her. Action Group Best for Britain, tackling issues post-Brexit, is one body calling for an IMA celebrity boycott. A statement on its website read, ITV is building the profile of a man whose only claim to fame is stoking divisions. The decision to pay Nigel Farage £1.5 million is incompatible with ITV's values. It's time to ask Anton Deck if they're comfortable presenting a program promoting this man, 
and to pledge not to watch until Farage is ruled out.